Hey guys, Sushrik Waza here, and welcome back to another Wednesday stream where, yes, today we can finally show you guys Magnavos in all his glory, the brand new combiner coming to Transformers Earth Wars. So, I did sort of predict this quite a while back, actually seven months ago, uh, as soon as we saw these, saw these bots coming to the game, I called it, I said, listen, there was going to be a Beast Wars combiner, guys, and lo and behold... We have a Beast Wars combiner. You know, uh, I'm pretty getting pretty good at these predictions right now. So, you know, I've been predicting things over the last few months now. Thinking what's going to be coming to the game. Before we did any testing, before we did anything else. Uh, it looks like those things are coming. So, if you have been watching my channel over the next few weeks, last few months. The things that I've been saying that are probably going to come to the game. They're coming. And that's all I'm going to say. So, if you've been watching, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't been watching, maybe you should go and watch. Maybe. Uh, before we start the stream as well, just want to make an announcement. So obviously I have my own merch store that you can go and check out, guys. So this weekend being Black Friday, uh, Stream Elements that I work with that uh, create the actual merch, uh, they're offering free shipping with all orders. And I am also going to be taking probably about 10%, 12% discount of all items as well. So if you want to buy any uh, Sunstreaker was our SSW merch, then this weekend will be the weekend to do it because we're dropping our prices and free shipping, I believe. So, yes, make sure you go check out the merch store. Go and check that out. So, let's see who we have got in the chat. So, we've got Matt Poehler, who was first. Thanks for joining, bud. We've got SG Soundwave and Chris Lewis, who are both our members. Don't forget, guys, your last chance to become a Platinum member. If you are a Platinum member, you will be in with a chance of winning a $30 gift card. Uh, that will be coming in about a week's time, then uh, just in time for the uh, next leaderboard. So, yeah, if you are a Platinum member, buy then, then yes, you will be in the draw for a $30 gift card. You've got to be in it to win it, though. Uh, then we've got, who else have we got? What happened there? I'm going to switch the wire over a minute, just to make sure it's uh, working. There we go. Try it again, Waza. There we go. Uh, who else? We've got, we've got Grind Time in as well. Hey, Grind Time, how's it going? We've got, uh, lots of members, basically. <laughs> Um, we've got uh, the Crusher 11. How's it going as well, Lord Avix? We've got Fugs to Bomb. Long time no see. Welcome back. Uh, Ultabot Phil. We've got Abby Blades, uh, who's new to the stream. Welcome. I hope you enjoy it. Um, without all the cutouts, I'll try a different lead. <laughs> we'll try that one instead. Um, and we've also got Sharks, one of our moderators. We've got, uh, who else have we got in the chat? Du -du 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 -du. We've got Level Greco, how's it going? And Bert Sherbert, brilliant name. Um, Warpath, and it's just skipped ahead. Warpath SB, oh, of course, yeah. Uh, Ricky Lau as well, how's it going, bud? Leader one. How's it going? Thanks for tuning in, my uh, fellow comrade from PsyOps. We've got uh, Ninja Buster Builder. We've got Meta Bear, Charlie Plays, Bricks Motion, Daniel Munoz. How's it going from Costa Rica? Hope you're well. Uh, Hans Omar Von Herald Duart. I hope that's right. That's a mouthful. I think you need to change that name to Hans. Uh, and we've got uh, Alpha Trion as well. So, yeah, welcome everyone to the stream. So, like I said, yes, we are going to be showing the new combiners, going through the newsletter. Um, we uh, can't show Tri Predicus, I'm afraid. Uh, the reason the, the stream was sort of late starting was they had a few problems. Uh, but obviously, we're showing Magnaboss, and you can get the idea of Tri Predicus's uh, abilities from that. We basically had a new build for these combiners that's been pushed through. Uh, that'll have a few of the new things in it as well. It's not in the test server yet, so obviously we're alright. We'll have to color things up and hide things. Uh, we haven't got the new combat yet, but we'll talk a bit about them as well. Um, so yeah, I've had a few problems sort of getting to our con side of things and um, a couple of things as well. So sadly, we can't show Tri Predicus. Uh, the idea of getting that con account was so we could do these things, but I can't load it up right now. So apologies and hence why I had a bit of a late start. Apologies, guys. Um, but yeah, let's go into the newsletter and see what this weekend's event is going to be entailing. And I need to start a stinger out as well. 
<laughs> so yes, Power Week Grinder, Week Nidibong, we are into week two of the saga. Uh, and this week's event is called Rogue Operation. So this weekend's event, uh, we have a, a four-star Magna Boss or Tripodicus random bot. Now let's be honest though guys, there's only three bots you can get. So you've got a one in three chance of getting, say, one that you're missing. I know a lot of guys like myself, I'm missing um, Beast Wars Prowl <coughs> from mine. Uh, I know a couple of other guys, I know that uh, BSA Luke in my server was saying that he's missing Beast Wars Silverbolt. I don't care what the apes say. It's designed that way. It's designed so that we are missing one part and we go and chase that. Listen, it's happening. That's what happens. I don't care what they say. That is the truth. No conspiracy theory. That is the truth. Um, but yeah, so if you are missing one of these combiner bots, then you are guaranteed to get one of them this weekend. But you can get a duplicate. So keep that in mind. So we've got uh, one four-star Manda boss. Um, our Tripodicus Crystal. We've got up to 30 Feastful Chests, which drop um, Shards or Prime Shards. We've got 40 Premium Combat Chips, uh, a G-Metal Power Core Chip, uh, 6 Gold Power Core Chips, up to 300,000 Combiner Spark, 1,500 Four Star Shards, 4,000 Three Star Shards, and a Partridge in a Pear Tree. No, you don't. Uh, but yeah, it's Super XP as well, which is pretty cool. It's the normal battle zones, as we always do. And you can see there that the uh, the uh, rewards are sort of spread throughout. Um, right up to 500k. So you're talking about 12.5k per person. So, you know, pretty achievable, pretty easy to get. I imagine that a lot of top players will be sort of leaving their alliances quite early on. Uh, maybe after the first day or so, uh, I'll be looking for places to uh, get extra XP. So don't forget, if you do need extra XP, then go into Discord server. Uh, they normally have a section where you can go in there and say, listen, I'm looking for mercs to come and help me. Make sure you put your alliance in there, guys, to get all the help you can. Put in all the line charts that you need help. I mean, make sure, obviously, you're not in the training chat of Texas because Tex doesn't like you advertising for stuff like that in his chat. It's a training chat. But... You know, guys, uh, make sure you're in the right chat and, uh, you know, um, asking for help in the right places. And it will come, no doubt. Uh, in the uh, Feastful Chests, you can get uh, 5,000 Premium Shards, 503 Star Shards, 254 Star Shards, 250 Prime Core Shards, 10,000 Premium Shards, uh, 1,003 Star Shards, 504 Star Shards, or 500 Prime Shards. So, yeah. I'm pretty impressed with the event. I think it's pretty good. Uh, we've been talking as well about bundles and things like that. I know the bundles are coming out. And we talked about how hard it is to get defense cores. And we said that, you know, if you're going to bring out any defense cores in the past, you know, we've said if you are going to bring out any defense cores, you know, um, like you have in the past, then it's took a long time for people to obtain them. There's still defense cores that were released six to nine months ago that even I haven't got now. And we said we need to make these more accessible. So why can we not add prime core shards to bundles? That's the big conversation in playtest at the minute. Um, I don't think it'll happen. I really don't. But, you know, from that then, because you've got to think that the odds on, say you won, I've talked about this in the past, but say you won a uh, Jetfire Chrome... Uh, core for Jetfire. So the chance of you buy, so you buy a bundle, so the chance of you getting Jetfire is very low. Yeah, so it's 2%, 2% chance. Then the chance of getting a G meta within that, and it, uh, obviously obviously being Jetfire as well, is even lower. You're probably talking 0.2%, maybe even less. And then the chance of getting the G metal of that core that you want is probably 0.2%. Not two percent. It's ridiculous the chance of getting that one core. And Atari in our um, alliance, that's the only core that he needs. It's all his combats, all his combats are five star. All his bots are five star. All his bots are maxed out. All his combats are maxed out. All his cores are maxed out. And it's like the only thing that will improve my team right now is a Chrome Jetfire core. I just can't get one. You know. So 
you've got to think that we've got to find some way to make it easier to get these cores in some way. And, you know, if we give Prime Core Shouted bundles, at least you could choose Bot or Defense. So, although you're not guaranteed it by any means, you're reducing that chance by half, maybe even less if you've got a Defense Core. You know, so you're splitting them up, you know, so you've got more of a chance. And I think that maybe that should be the way forwards in some way, or some sort of guaranteed G Metal in some way. Um... And I know it's a gotcha system, and I know there's no guarantees, and I, I get that, I do. But, you know, when there's people that you could spend $1,000 and still not get that one core, then, you know, it's not fair, is it, really? You shouldn't be have to chase it, uh, a core that badly. So, um, yeah, that's a conversation we're sort of talking about in playtest on how to improve bundles, how to get them better, uh, and what we can do to help get people more uh, defense cores. That's the big conversation at the minute. So if you've got any ideas, guys, put them in the chat. We'll uh, talk about it soon. Uh, review any ideas. Um, I can't see there being any guarantees, though. If you put in the chat a guaranteed G Metal or whatever, $100 spend, I, I can't see that happening. I really can't. Um, but, yeah, it is what it is. I do like I do like that saying. I do like saying that it is what it is. Uh, but then, uh, game update and information. So I've been I've been waiting for this for a long time, long time. So this Black Friday, all the bundles have double value. So I said a while back to um, Dale, I was like, "What are we doing for Black Friday? It needs to be a sale of some kind." Because two years ago, they brought out a bundle. And it was like, look at this, Doctor's Prime bundle. You're like, okay, but it's the same bundle you get all year round. Yeah, but it's Doctor's Prime bundle. Yeah, but that shows up every now and again anyway. It's no different. It's not a sale. So, you know, it's not a sale. It's not Black Friday. Um, so then last year they went, look at this, bot shards. Oh, wow, they added bot shards. And then every single bundle after that, we got bot shards. We're like, well, that's not really a sale, you just added a new feature on Black Friday. That's all you've done. Um, so this year, to be fair to them, they have gone out on a limb, and I think they are progressing in the game right now, and they're sort of pushing boundaries a bit more now. Um, so we are literally getting double the amount of crystals, double the amount of chips. Um, I think that means the uh, bot shards, basically. Uh, double the amount of spark, and double amounts of everything. So, yeah, some really good uh, bundles um, to come. So, uh, obviously, it's really small and really hard to uh, to read, but pretty much, it's not, it's something for everyone. Pretty much is. Um, so, uh, bundles will take, so they've got the likes of, obviously, Beast Wars, Iron High, Beast Wars, Silverbolt, Beast Wars, Prowl, Snapdragon, Optimal, Optimus, Shield Run, Air Razor, Rat Trap, Spore Sport, Red Heat, Top Heavy, all, you know, the decent bots. We've got uh, G1 batches. We've got mixed special bundles. Um, a, Mag a Magnaboss uh, bundle, even. Uh, broadside bundles. Top heavy bundles. Best of 2020 bundles. Volcanicus bundles. Transmetal galore bundles. You know, I could go on. I could literally stand it and go on. But literally, every sort of faction in there. Every combiner. Every type of bot, all the new bots especially, all the G1s are pretty much in there at some point. So find the bundle that you want, set your alarm, make sure you make sure the right time is there. Top tip, set your alarm and then go and get that bundle, guys. Yeah, and um, you know, if you know someone in your alliance that's missing a certain bot and like, you know what, oh, I really want this bot on this bundle. And it pops up, then message him. Let him know. So, listen, and this is not me just drumming up business for Space Tape. If that's the case, I'd be like, buy one of every bundle. No. Go and get the bundles of specific bots that you really want or really need. And choose carefully. Don't just buy random bundles. You know, if you only need one combiner bot, don't buy the Optimus Maximus bundle if it's one bot from that. Because you've got a very limited chance in that. Buy that bot's bundle. So if you're missing, say... Beast Wars Prowl, yeah, like myself, um, for Magnaboss, then don't buy the Magnaboss bundle, go and buy the Beast Wars Prowl bundle, because you've got a lot more chance, whereas if you're missing all of them, go and buy the Magnaboss bundle, yeah, it's really important you think of that, guys, think about your chances on bundles, think about the chances of getting said bot, yeah, and if you stick to that, you won't spend too much, 
you'll spend wisely and chances are you might even get the bot so yeah pick your bot so take a take a note of it now and go right okay make a little list these are the bots that i want maybe one maybe two maybe three don't go crazy guys yeah these are the bots that i want these are the bundles that i'm going to buy these yeah and go out and look at getting them and that's it and don't waver from that you can get like i said go a bit crazy you know but yeah best advice i can give you guys honestly uh so yeah like i said some amazing bundles and then right at the end we've got the transmetal core beast wars faction leaders so yeah really good bundles uh the best of 2020 will have double dealer six gun chromia and strafe really good bundles some really good bots in there uh six gun and chromia absolutely amazing um best 2019 goldfire blades rook rhinox all amazing bots even as four stars Rodimus Prime, Elite One, Sentius Magnus Slash, all still really good. Other than Rodimus Prime, I still use Elite One, Sentius, and Slash for Zen farming and in my bundles and things like that. Um, Cup, Laser Optimus Snarl, and Cheeto, not too bad. 2016, Star Saber, Ultra Magnus, Grimlock, and First Aid, again, not bad. Uh, G1 Batch, Wheeljack, Jazz Blaster, Batch 2, Ultra Magnus, Ratchet, Hound, RC. I could go on. I could go on. Batch 3, Batch 4, Batch 5, Batch 6, Batch 7. Mixed Mayhem Bundle, which is Snapdragon and Chromia. I don't know why that's so Mayhem. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Some, uh, you know, great, great bots in there. Um, but, yeah. Then we've got Community Corner, where we've got some uh, pretty cool drawings. That's quite impressive. And then, yes, as we said, Magniboss and Tripredicus are coming to the game. Pretty cool. We'll, um, we'll go through their abilities in the game anyway, but we'll, so we'll all go through that. Uh, Tripredicus looking pretty cool as well. I've got to say as well that Tripredicus' ability actually looks better than Magniboss's. I'm not going to lie, but it looks really good. Uh, and yes, we have got two new combats coming to the game, Road Burner and Power Punch. Now, from what I can sort of make out, they, they sound a lot like Red Heat, but I can't see them being another Red Heat. I really can't. So the question is, what are they going to be? Are they going to be different? I don't know. Are they going to fire a shot like Top Heavy through the base? Well, I haven't got them yet to test, so I can't even say myself. I'm not even giving anything away here. I haven't got a clue. I presume we'll be getting them next week to test, maybe this weekend. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how they work, because they can't, they, can't, they can't be like Top Heavy. Um, they were slightly different, but I imagine there'll be a ranged combat where they'll sit at the back and fire, just by sort of what they look like. So yeah. So yes, we're in uh, week two out of six. Uh, well, it's kind of six, but yeah, we've got seven on here because it's New Year. But, um, but yeah, very chilled Christmas, which I'm quite pleased about. Um, so we've got a 500k event this year, uh, this week, sorry, uh, a 750k um event the week after, and a four star event. Um, then we've got a, a 30k uh individual event after that. Uh, then we've got a leaderboard. Uh, right before Christmas, maybe not the best time for a leaderboard. Uh, then we've got an individual totalizer for 10k over Christmas, nice and easy. Because it's Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and Boxing Day. I can't see many people playing that much really over that days. Um, and then over New Year, so it's New Year's, and then a couple of days afterwards. Um, it's a 10k event with 20k optional, so I imagine that'll be with Spark and things like that. So, yeah. I'm glad they made it nice and chilled over Christmas. I'm glad. But we had leaderboard right before it. Whew. Ouch. Uh, so, yes, as part of the improvements, Titans have now been removed from elimination mode on defensive side, um, as they should have been. So, yeah, they have been removed. So, uh, that's pretty good. And uh, that is everything. That is the news. So, we've literally, um, let's try again. There we go. So, uh, I've been doing a bit of testing this week, but, uh, it was, uh, it's crashed. <laughs> 
But there's a few uh, glitches, a few uh, things wrong. And uh, it's still not a finished article, uh, Magna Boss and Tripodicus, but we're going to show them anyway. But just keep in mind, guys, that what you see values wise might not be the actual finished article. Because um, there is a few sort of problems with it uh, right now. Um, with all the four star combiners, we know that you normally can only use a four star ability once. Uh, and right now, because of the timing frame, I think the ability is loading a bit too quick. Uh, we can actually do two. So I don't think we'll be able to do that um, come the release, which will be tomorrow. Uh, so for that reason, I'm only going to use each ability once, guys. Give you an idea on what the sort of damage they actually will do. Uh, because let's be honest, when you use a four-star combiner against the max base, you can normally only manage two, maybe three abilities if you're lucky. And why is this not loading up? I don't know. Hey, there we go. What is going on? But yes, this will be the first combiner that only needs three bots. So yeah, impressive. I'm just trying to refresh it every time and get it up, but it's not working. Hmm. We'll keep trying. We'll keep trying. Uh, let's have a few questions. Um, just going back quite a bit. So, Ninja Master Builders put, yeah, I will not need the Optimus bundle because I got all of his style and it's got the four style from Lucky Crystal. Uh, well, obviously, we got that on the uh, starter bundle, didn't we? So, um, yeah. Why is it? It's on my screen. It's just not loading up. So let's just uh let's try uh deleting the game capture. Why is it doing that as well? Very strange. Very strange. But it's not a stream if it doesn't go wrong. Right, okay. So that's that. Let's try adding the game capture. Give me a second, guys. Game capture. Yeah, add game capture. Capture specific window. Window. Yep. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hopefully that's worked. Hopefully it won't crash. But only time will tell. We'll see. See, there was a day I won't have a clue what I'm doing here, but, you know, we've got to that stage now. We know what we're doing. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at any more. So, um, so Alf Trans, but we've got healing cores. Uh, we have health cores. We need a different health core that steals health. Rather than provides it. Maybe. Maybe. You never know. Uh, SG Soundway is looking for blades and chromia and god cone. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely not a god. Uh, Matt Pauly wants the Nor Core. I've actually got the Gmail. I don't even use it. I haven't got the five star. I've already got the four star. Um, yeah, stay up till two a.m. or five a.m. to get the G1 batch. Yeah, they should have repeated them at different intervals. There was one batch. I was like, oh, I fancy that, and it was like three o'clock in the morning. I was like, no, I'm, I don't think I'm staying up till three in the morning for that. I'll just skip it. So yeah, maybe something to feed back to the apes. Let's just mix it up a bit, maybe. Um. Yes, Durham, it is a Magnaboss event, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, yes, Grand Time, finally, a decent actual sale bundles. Yes, I agree. Um, in terms of the five-star announcement, that should be coming soon as well. Uh, I've asked Dale, and he said that hopefully the playtesters, oh, the content creators should have uh, exclusives on this uh, and be able to show it first. So... If you want to see the new 5-star batch first, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, watch out for my video um, coming soon, hopefully with the new 5-star batch. Could be interesting. Um, Victory Star Saber says he's going to whale in all the bundles. Ooh, it'll cost you. <laughs> Leader1 says, what if you aren't missing any bots at all? Well then, don't spend. Simple as that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Master Builder, I think it's designed that way that everyone's missing one bot. 
I really do. I'll be blazed, but just don't buy. Yeah, that's the best idea, to honestly. If you don't want the bots, then yeah, don't even buy if you don't. But if you do want the bots, then there's only one way to get them, sadly. You're a bit stuck. Uh, <laughs> Sashi Sandwich put Double Dealer, the best of 2020. Really? Uh, yeah. I was quite disappointed with Double Dealer personally. I don't think it's the best, but yeah. Uh, anyone else? What about if your cores are maxed already? Well, then don't buy any cores. <laughs> um, anything else? I'm trying to just skip through, guys. I don't want to miss all the comments, but I just want to catch up with any questions or anything. Um... SA was so lazy, just made magnet possibilities, just the ability to comments with but more power. Well, I think it's pretty cool that we'll show them anyway, but I think it's pretty cool person. I like the fact that the abilities come from what's in the bot, you know. Uh, Arrow DJ Hart is in the chat. How's it going, bud? Make sure you go and check out Arrow DJ Hart's channel. Obviously, uh, go and check out Grind Times. Go check out my good friends, Soldiers and Engineer Hoist as well. Go check out your all your Transformers Earth Wars content creators. Um, anything else? I think that is it. Arrow, I uh, I am fighting your corner, brother. I am, I am fighting your corner. I am. I promise you. I've had a chat with Dale. I see myself as sort of the father figure of all the content creators, trying to look out for them all. Um. But I'm not just saying this, guys, but, you know, I'm probably the most active in there in terms of, like, trying to get things and trying to get more things and trying to get exclusives out for the content creators and things like that. And I've got a couple of things in the pipeline. I don't want to talk about them yet because they're at very early stages. Uh, but a couple, couple of cool things uh, that should be coming to the channel. Uh, I did try this about nine months ago and it sort of flopped. Maybe six months ago, something like that. And it sort of flopped. Again, those who watch my channel will know what I'm talking about, maybe. I did try something, uh, and it sort of flopped, and I was quite disappointed. Um, but then I've had a chat with a, someone, and they've come round to the idea of maybe doing something. So, um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see, but uh, it could be cool. And, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> the question spot, stop delaying. Okay, okay, let's get into it. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Let's add a bit of sound. Okay. So here is Magnabos. So yes, looks pretty cool. So we'll transform him in the showroom. So one of the feedback we did give that, you know, Magnabosch maybe shouldn't be as big as the rest of the combiners. But then it is an elephant and a lion and a massive hawk. So maybe, maybe not. Transformation is pretty cool. And there we go. Pretty cool. So, yes. Yeah, so the abilities. So uh, like I've said in the, um, in the newsletter. So supercharge stampede. Uh, jump and deal 3,150 damage and 5,000 damage to walls in an area. Buildings around our week and receiving 5% more damage 15 seconds. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Then we've got... Supercharged fire shield. You surround yourself in flames, making yourself vulnerable. Invulnerable, sorry. Not vulnerable. Invulnerable. That'd be a bit stupid, wouldn't it? Making yourself vulnerable. Uh, making yourself invulnerable for five seconds uh, and causing 284 damage per second around you for 20 seconds. Not bad. <laughs> she sound waste, but why is Prowl so big? That's not a lion. That's a dinosaur with fur. <laughs> he is quite big. Uh, and then the four star ability you create a feathered tornado that deals 315 damage per second for 20 seconds so that's 6,000 damage in an area I'm not sure that will stay that might get reduced I'm not going to lie because it's crazy 
Uh, and heals allies for 180, 158 health points per second for 60 seconds. So that's 1,500 times 6 is 9,000 health, but over a minute. So it's not an instant heal. It's basically like a bit like a rejuve uh, that heals your bots, but very powerful ability. So now, some of the feedback that we've sort of been given on it, that, like I said, it's not quite finished, is that... Omega Supreme's uh, damage is around 5,000 damage after his health to, to specific targets. So it doesn't make sense that an Omega Supreme at level 22 does 5,000 damage to targets. And a 4-star Magna Boss at level 18 does 6,000 damage to targets. So I think that will get reduced to maybe 250, maybe. Maybe 200. That's what I can imagine. I can't imagine it being as high as it is. So watch out for that. Probably being changed, guys. <laughs> I love how everyone's putting the uh, little emojis of uh, me. Is it cheering? I think I was cheering, wasn't I? And then obviously uh, Dale trolling me as well. <laughs> but don't forget, guys, if you do want to be able to show them little emotes and emojis and things like that, then you've got to be a member. Uh, you'd have to be a platinum member, just a normal member. So, uh, yeah, you can always check that out. Okay, let's stop stalling. Let's get into it. Uh, Vito Vukax point is damage over time, though. Predictable and reactable. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Okay, let's do this. Uh, SG Soundwave was put most likely Magna Boss, which is slightly better Superion. I think it'd be better than that. I think he'll be on par with Defensor. Now, personally, I think that it's a close one between Omega Supreme and between. Um, not Superion. And between uh, Computron. Uh, now, Computron is obviously really powerful as a four star, so he's probably the most powerful out of all the combiners, obviously, but then Omega Supreme can be a five star. After that, personally, I think it's Defensor. So I think Magnaboss will be around there when he's finished. That's where I think. So what we could do is we'll, uh, we'll put. Uh, we'll put. What's, my, what's he got on? We've got Alchemist. I want to put someone with no healing on, so. Um, Blast has got. Everyone's got healing on. Uh, we'll put bl uh, blades on. So let's let blades do some damage there. So you can see there's got no health, so he's down to half health there. Uh, then we'll drop Magna Boss. Pretty cool transformation. So we'll do his stamp first, get rid of some of these walls, do some damage to them. You can see there, it gets the glass gas effect in an area. Then let's make him invulnerable. So you can see there, his health is actually going up when using invulnerability and it heals himself, which I, I'm not too sure that's right, really. Let's do the swarm. So you can see the swarm there, it's got a huge range. So you can put the swarm even up there. So crazy range. Again, I'm not too sure they might keep this. But yeah, incredible range. Uh, let's keep him back down here, though. There we are. Let's get him in that area there. Glass gas effect. Let's get him uh, invulnerable. And you see there, he's still at half health. Where normally you can't even get these abilities off. And uh, let's get another swarm in. Can we get another swarm in? Yep, yeah, got another swarm in. So you can see there, the damage from that swarm is absolutely crazy. I'm not too sure he actually should heal himself, but... Metroplex is fighting himself again. <laughs> but you can see there, it's, it's, it's far too powerful. Hey, and there goes Blades. You know, to take that sort of area out for a four-star combiner, I can't see that staying. But you get an idea. I'm ho I'm personally hoping to keep the range um, of that storm. Maybe not quite as fast as anywhere on the map. But um, yeah, I'm hoping they uh, keep that. Um, 
I've not really tested on defense. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, but there's a few guys in chat. I've said that uh, you know it looks to be uh, healing uh, defenses. I've yet to confirm that, uh, but it should do. I imagine it will do. I can't Im listen. I don't think you're going to do use glass gas to damage the walls. It doesn't make any sense. So glass gas is glass gas. It's not the best really. You know on defense really. It's all right. It's not bad. Um, the other one makes him invulnerable for five seconds, then heal over. 20 seconds you know um you know it's not bad it's not bad yeah but i can't see that being used in an outpost so i think the main one that we're using an outpost is the swarm um uh, with the amount of damage it's doing but again i think that'll be reduced but you've got to think that 5,000 damage in an area is still pretty considerable and that's a lot of the feedback that we're getting so you know Consider, like I said, I'd say it could be at a 10% reduction in range, maybe, maybe a 10% reduction in damage for uh, the combiner itself. So let's have another go again. Unleash the combiner and crush the Decepticons. So let's see how much of this area here we can clear. Can we reach the top? Ooh, it's a bit tight. So that means it's the same range as gold fire just about because this is obviously made into an anti gold fire base so um yeah i think around gold fire's range so let's get rid of this area up here let's do some damage around there there we go, fire ability. Only a short range of that. I thought it'd quite it reached the cannon, but obviously it hasn't, so you see that swarm is ridiculous damage. Swarm And you see there, that is crazy amount of damage. So we just go. I don't know which was mine. <laughs> go on, Metroplex. I should win this, hopefully. I just want to try something. Got Metroplex. Uh, yeah, that's his. That's my shame. Uh, but yeah, I imagine with Metroplex there, you could probably take them, these defenses out and maybe use Cup and Springer to really good effect um, against top-loaded bases. So, uh, you know, uh, that's the one reason that I can't see. If they do keep it that range, then Cup and Springer is going to be huge, I really do think. But again, like I said, if you want to see the finished article, I imagine it will be done by tomorrow afternoon. And Space Ape usually do their own um, stream on a Thursday. So make sure you go check that out, guys. And they'll probably be showing the finished article with exactly the range and how powerful it is. So you've got an idea of the abilities. It gives you an idea on you know, how what they do and how good they are. But it will be the finished article. That's all. So keep that in mind, guys. Cool. So, has anyone got any questions while we're in the chat? Could be about this. Would have to be about combiners. Any questions you like, uh, hit them up in the chat, guys, and uh, let me know, and I'll get to answer them the best I can. Uh, but in the meantime, let's uh, let's go back to our global account and um, see what we're doing there. Cheers tuning in later one. Appreciate it, bud. Matt Paul is still don't have Computron. Well, that should be your aim this Black Friday, honestly. Berserk's put it's amazing how close they cut it to release. I I agree. You know what? Um I'm gonna actually defend Space Ape. It's very rare that you'll see me do this. I'll I will defend Space Ape when they have, you know, a reason to be defended. I'm not gonna defend them. Because I'm a content creator. Um, you know, I defend them because I think they need defending because they are right. Uh, in this instance, then, yeah. 
uh, you know, it is sort of something out of their hands. I don't want to get into it. It's quite private. To, I think a few of the playtesters know in a way. But, you know, they've had a few problems, let's say, recently. They've had problems in the past. And I've been quite judgmental, in really. And uh, I still am about the past. Uh, you know, I'm still quite um, judgmental in that sense. Um, but, um, you know, this time around, it's been difficult for them. You know, they've been uh, a bit short, let's just say. So it has been a bit hard pushed and they are trying to get they're trying to get ability 11 done they're trying to get the five star batch done they've obviously tried to get this done and there's something else coming in january i think and there's something else coming next week so there's loads of things they are actually working on and they've actually been short staffed as well so coupling all these things together i kind of get it's a bit last minute it's not ideal it's not great because you know we want to test these things um but um it is what it is. It is what it is. You know, if there's no reason for it, then yeah, I can be quite critical. But I do appreciate they are working on a lot right now and they're trying to sort wars out. So I'm uh, I'm hoping that will work. But we should have a update um, for wars soon. Very soon. Um. So Victory Star Saber's put for a free star combiner, what would you rate Magna Boss? So thinking about just just three star, that's a good question. Going off just three star abilities, who do I rate as the best combiner? So uh, they're quite poor for Mega Supreme, really. They're not that great. Let's not even talk about him. Let's even talk about three star there. Um, Victorian's three star ability is pretty good. They're pretty good for three star abilities. Um, Volcanicus, pretty good for three-star abilities. Um, Defense, oh, maybe not so much. Computrons are pretty good. Computrons are pretty good. I'd probably go with Computron. I think it's the best combined going anyway, at any level. I think it's amazing. I'd go with Computron's pretty good. Volcanicus and Victorian on attack. In terms of defense... Um, in terms of defense... Uh, uh, maybe Victorian with the reflectability, or maybe uh, Computron with the uh, optics ability. Maybe one of those two on defense, but yeah. So basically, Computron and Victorian, I think, as three stars, play the best. Um, and then Demon Dogs put what's the best combiner for defense? Well, there you go, sunset it. <laughs> Bricks Mox has put, what to do with a four-star cliff jumper? Let him rot. Let him rot. Uh, he could be good at a decent level, lower down. But um, at higher levels, not so much. And that's why I said about when um, Beast Wars Elephant Guy, uh, when, <laughs> when he came out, uh, I said that, you know, they've mixed Sludge with Cliff Jumper, but they've mixed two abilities that, One's very situational, and one we don't consider that good. So you've not created... You've created an okay bot, but you've not created a good bot by combining them two. You should have created... Combined two abilities that are actually pretty decent. But I think what's happened is... I think they've had an idea for the combiner. And then gone, let's put these three abilities in the bots. Uh, I do... Like I said, I do like the idea that the, the abilities in the bots work into the combiner. I do like that. Um, I don't know how they do that for five bots in a combiner. Maybe just choose three and maybe I'll combine two into one. Combine two into one and have one super one of the four star. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, uh, you know, I'd, uh, I like that. I do. But I think that's where they've gone. I think they com made combiner first with the abilities and then filtered that into the box. But yeah. Oh, Matt Pohl has done the... the the uh, cardinal sin of asking, is there any chatter about when the three-star Titan part will be available for people who need it? Oh, are we really starting with this already? Are we really starting with this? Oh, uh, Next, I'll be getting questions about the five-star Mega Supreme part and all over again. And when's the nose cone buff coming? <laughs> I don't know, guys. Honestly, I really haven't got a clue. As soon as I know, you will know. And so as soon as I know... It probably around the same time as in the newsletter. Things like that we don't hear about really before the newsletter. We hear about the bots and new things coming to the game. 
but not things in like the Shanix store. We don't test them sort of things, so I imagine that'll just be um coming in. Um RB Blazers put is there going to be a SSW secret stash competition today? Why not? Why not? Well, as soon as you mention it, are you grind time in disguise? Because me and grind time actually troll Engineer Hoist. Uh, I actually might even make Engineer Hoist stream tonight for an uh, unusual uh, appearance. Um, because I'm actually off work now for the next 10 days. So um, I'll probably uh, make it for Engineer Hoist stream. So if you're going to be joining there, then uh, yeah, I'll probably see you in there. But yeah, why not? We'll do a competition at the end. I don't know what yet. I haven't prepped anything, but hey, we'll give some stuff away. Victory starts here, but don't have defense, so it just needs. Uh, is it? Oh, it just skips ahead. And now I can't get to it. Uh, let's fight again. Uh, it needs three star first aid. Berserk can't wait to see giant insects when Trapodicus combines in a map. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, the insects would be huge. <laughs> uh, SG Soundwave. I don't, I don't really ask him that. I ain't, I ain't got a clue you're asking. Um. Ricky Lauer's put, I have a hunch the next combiners after, after Magna Boss and Tripodicus is Raiden and Monstructor. Maybe. We'll see. I'm going to sneeze a minute. Um. <laughs> Ooh, bless me. Um, maybe. That's a good point, though, Ricky Lau. Is that the things that are coming out in the toy line, you probably see or usually see come into the game. So. If that's the case, then those bots will probably come soon. But we'll know because we'll see one of the Raiden bots or one of the Monstructor bots uh, coming first. And when they do, then we know they're coming, don't we? But we'll have to see one of them bots first. Ah, Bricks Motion says Raiden and Seacons. Yeah, but which, which one's coming out? Which toy's coming out? That's the thing that matters. And Grand Times for our old DJ Hart. I know. I just want him to say it. Yeah. I know that, but I'm not saying it. Just a troller. Um, Victory Star Saber says he's got a three star part with HQ 16, so I can't use it. There. That's a tragedy. It really is. Uh, the Bulls put possible new types of cores in the game, in your opinion, was a. Ooh, I couldn't possibly comment on that. I couldn't possibly comment on new cores coming to the game anytime soon, could I? Uh, who knows? Who knows? I could speculate, but um, I won't for once. If you've been watching my channel in the past, then I've speculated for a long time. But this time, I won't. Um, uh, Matt Paul, yeah, this is it, guys. Uh, Matt Paul has put, did you catch this video about the Titan campaign? Really helpful if your squad isn't strong enough to walk. Yeah, honestly, guys, if you're struggling with the Titan campaign, I can't say this enough. Listen, there's certain videos, like, yeah, I like people that subscribe to my channel and watch my videos and watch my streams, but I get that not everyone will watch every single video or some people just jump in and jump out. Some people will be a heavy, heavy single stream, like, you know, SG Soundwave, Grand Time, Matt Paul, such, such people, a load of people, so you're joining every single stream. But I get that not everyone can do that. But, you know, if there's some video or one video you're going to watch, if you're struggling in the campaign for the um, for the Titans, then go and watch my video. I literally do it with a... I'm going to say... Was it a 20, 18k team, was it? I think it was an 18k team. Yeah. I'm going to go out on a limb and say 18k. I'm sure it was 18k. So it is doable, guys. Yeah? It is doable. Um, If you're going to Cup Lagoon, go and check out my Cup Lagoon videos. You know, there's certain videos out there that will really help you guys, depending on what you're doing in the game. So, uh, yeah, make sure you check them out. Um, Berserk says, Compton and Lion Kai is the best three star. Then Minnesota. Yeah. I'd probably agree, yeah. So I think. RB Blades is really pushing for a giveaway, isn't it? Really pushing for it. It really wants a giveaway. You know what, RB Blades? I'm going to give you a code just for asking. How's that one? You're new to the stream. I'm going to give you a code. So all you need to do is hit me up on Discord, message me and go, Hey, Waza, I want a code because I'm RB Blades and you get a code. How's that for you? There you go. Um... 
Victory Star Saber says, I got four star smoke screen. What core should I put on him? Um uh, he's G1, he's ideal. Uh, G1 is amazing. If not, then a volatile mixture. Depends what you're gonna use him for. If you're gonna use him for taking out defenses, then a volatile mixture will work, but not great. Um you might even use a Riju or uh, Alchemist because that will keep him alive. Uh, but generally his G1 is very good. So if you've got his G1 core brilliant, maybe not then an alchemist. Depends if you what you're struggling with. So when you use him, are you struggling to keep him alive? Um do you want to give him more damage for defenses? Do you want to give him more defenses against more damage against combiners and bots? So depending on what you want to do with him determines what core. So yeah. Victory Star Sabres put Cliff Jumper, good gunner. Bad ability, but that just makes him a bad gunner. That's 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 be honest. Um, I'm still trying to catch up. It keeps jumping. So um, anything else? If it's a secret stash, why is it streamed on the internet? I'm sorry, I think the secrets out. I don't know why they call them secret stashes. I'm not gonna. I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, Sunstreak was a sun, uh, secret stash, isn't it? Yeah. Anything else? Super Scott's but such a nice guy. Um, you know, I like to reward you know new people to the stream for tuning in, just to say you know thanks for tuning in. So yeah. Ooh, that's a good question, RB Blades. He's got 5k Shanix, Build Bot, or Omega Supreme 3 star. Ooh. Ooh. That's a hard one. Because Omega Supreme's. See, yeah. If you've got all the. As a, as a 3 star, then yeah, I'd probably go Build Bot. If you've got the 4 star part already. And you've got enough spark to get the four star, then I'd maybe go for that because four star uh, Omega Supreme is very good if you don't have another four star. It depends on your situation. If you've got all the, you know, four, if you've got all the four star um, combiners, then I'd maybe give it a miss. It's not the best maybe four star combiner. Um, so I'd probably go Bill Bot unless you've got the four star part. You've got the four star part, but again, it depends on how many you've already got. If you've got four bill bots, then you could probably do without one. If you've got two, then 100% bill bot over anything in the game. You need at least four bill bots. Obviously, five ideally. Six in some respects. Uh, one of my friends, um, we all have five bill bots, obviously, and he uh, he bought a uh, sixth, he bought a bill bot and it gave him. In the game, I think he bought it with coins. And he came in the chat and was like, um, I just bought a build bot. We're like, what? And literally, we're like, go and get it. And as soon as we went in there, it was already gone. It was already gone. And we were talking like very early days in the game. And Space 8 come and said, listen, sorry guys. Um, but we've, something came in the store and we took it away straight away. Um, and they looked at like six people got there that quick. That's how quick it was. And so they said, it's a goodwill gesture. We're going to let you keep them. So yeah, there's not many people in the game that actually have six build bots, but there's a few that actually uh, do. Um, David Musk has put Lisa Hartle says good day. Are you from Australia? I presume we're saying good day. Uh, it's an iPhone and can't work out how to get into the chat. Well, thanks for tuning in, uh, Lisa and David. Oh yeah, appreciate it. She sounds like, what? So, someone's got six billbots and it's not me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there's not many of them. I only know two people that are still playing the game that have that. But yeah. Uh, one's a very good friend of mine I've known for a long time. Yeah, she sounds weird, but they deserve it getting that fast. Well, let's be honest, some guys got that bundle the other day that gave them... What was it? I can't remember that bundle that came out and everyone got something. I can't remember. It was a lot of crystals or something. Is it free crystals, is it? But then the space hit took most of them back, I think, or all of them, I think. I don't know. I just know a friend of mine was like, look what I've got. I was like, yeah, you might be losing that sometime soon. He's like, they can't do that. I was like, well, they are. <laughs> so, uh, quick update on what I am doing. So, nope, wrong one. 
Yeah, we'll go here first. We'll go here first. Uh, so we've opened all our prem chips. I got bored. Um, so we have got four, eight. We'll probably have 12 four-star crystals to open soon. Uh, and that will get us halfway towards our next five-star. So as soon as the five-star batch comes out, we've got a crystal opening video. Um, and then I think that next... February, maybe, we'll probably have another five-star crystal video. And to be honest with you, I probably could buy a load of bundles and chase it and get the other one. But I don't want to level two five-stars at the same time. So we're going to pull that five-star um, in a couple of weeks, I think. Probably about two or three weeks. Uh, definitely before Christmas. So, yeah, probably two weeks even. Uh, we'll get that five-star um well uh you know the new batch we haven't got a clue but obviously red alert in there and skylinks so skylinks is you know a decent bot you know of uh i get why it's community choice but um you know um i'm not sold on skylinks i'm not sold um red alert maybe i don't know yet i don't know i need to do some testing on those but i'm interested on who else is going to be there i've got sorry, I don't need anything. I'm not going to lie. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, just for the sake of RB Blades, you know, there's not, I don't really need any bot, really. You know, I've I've got most of five stars that I need. Um, You know, I've got five stars that I don't even use. You know, like the likes of Sandstorm and Prowl and Skyburst, even Jetfire. I don't even use Jetfire anymore and he's maxed out. I don't even use Smokescreen, 6410. I don't use Alita either, 62.9. I don't even use Sludge. You know, all these bots I don't even use. Uh, but I use all these bots at the top. Cheeto I don't even use anymore, really. So, you know, there's not many bots that I need. I don't think many bots will actually get into my squad. Um, if, uh, maybe it's just for luxury. But we'll see. We'll see. Depends what's in the patch. You never know. But yeah, Matt Pauler, definitely waiting for the next batch. Uh, I, I could, I could pull Laser Optimus right now. Uh, I've got a guaranteed Laser Optimus. Oh, wrong batch. Could pull one of those two anyway. Uh, I've got a guaranteed Laser Optimus. A brilliant bot. I really want him, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Will he replace um, one of my gunners? Will he replace Rhinox? Will he replace Rook? Uh, will he replace um, Blaster? Blaster and Rock will not be leaving my team at all. Two bots that I've chased for a long, long, long time. Uh, will he replace Rhinox? Maybe situational, but I just want to see what this new batch is. I'm going to go this new batch on the first pull without a doubt. There's no one I want from there. Um, maybe RC from there, that's it. Um, I want Springer, but I'm not going there because of all the other three. Not a chance. I want Otter's Prime, but it's one in three chance. And this is the big one for me. This is the, this is the one. I, I want Hot Rod. I know. I know. I don't like Hot Rod. I, we all know that. But I like him in game. And, you know, I'm not one to not like, not go for bots. Because let's be honest, if I wanted to go and get a bot, I'd want Sunstreaker. But I don't want Sunstreaker. I really don't. I'm not really that fussed. But I am going to say to Space It, listen, when this game closes down, I want a maxed out Sunstreaker. I want a maxed out Sunstreaker. Um, then we've got Nora 1, maybe Silver Bolt, but definitely these two. Definitely these two. Maybe this one as well. So, yeah. Berserk's put, well, I've got my second war team. Laser Optimus with ability 11, stunning and bouncing, hard to go past. I agree, but Laser Optimus with Wheeljack is immense. So, I could go for that. I want to be a bit different. I want to try... So it's, it, wars right now are boring to the point where they're too easy. You know, they really are. I've 300 the last five. I've got a 298 average in PSYOPs. So, you know. Yeah. Not convinced. I'm still not convinced. I'm definitely going new batch for the first one. For the first pull. And then after that, I might go first batch. Depending who's in the current batch... Or I might go for Laser Optimus. I'm not too sure yet. But yeah. Kenshiro says he's got all Legacy 1. Look at you. I mean, I, I wasn't that much of a spender back then, really. Um, 
I'm not that much even now, really, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I, I've just... I'm very cautious, very frivolous, and I'm in the top of lines, and I always have been. So I've played for a long time. So, you know, for those that think that I spend that much, I mean, I've played for 2,000 days. So, you know, and I've done a lot less battles than most. So I'm very frivolous, very, you know cautious with my spending like i said see, this is the things i advise you guys to do i do myself you know that's uh true so bots put the only hits on tracks walls now yeah the same pretty much uh thundercrack has asked uh what bots are in my outpost so i've got compitron at the bottom no doubt i've got blaster i've got rhinox i've got smoke screen and blades so the idea is we've got uh rhinox with ability 11. so rhinox is so good because of his transmetal core so his transmetal core when you when he uses ability most people will sacrifice and make it so that he can't use his ability so his ability disappears it's, a, it's not apparent anymore but the good thing about his transmetal core is once he gets below 40 percent health it reactivates his ability again so it's not wasted so it will actually hit the bots because obviously they drag them down and they fight them and it reactivates so you want to try and use bots really that you're not going to waste their ability on so if you pop my outposts then yes you'll probably waste blades um but the amount of damage that smoke screen does and the amount of damage that blades with top shot does sat behind rhinox and blaster will be pretty incredible so that's the idea so i've put them all up top so it's quite easy to cup pull um but then we've got Compton with his hack so you know not too bad so kenshiro says he started legacy one two years ago on his new account and played about a thousand days not bad not bad bricks motions played two thousand days almost um rhinox good in an op looks 50 50 to me rhinox in an op with his trans metal core and with chicken on a stick is immense absolutely immense the only reason that I don't have five star to act on him, because that's on Blaster, and Blaster is a staple on my war team. But yeah, Rhinox at ability eleven with Transmetal Core and Tarax or Chicken on a Stick as we call it. Yeah, absolutely incredible. So yeah. Uh our DJ Hearts, but for my next five star, I plan to pull from Legacy One. Interesting. Unless the upcoming batch blows me away. Well you gotta think, right, so Again, I've talked about this in the past, but we'll talk about it again. So, when the new batch comes out, when it gets announced, the playtesters know what makes a good bot. We're not going to release a five-star batch that's awful. So, when you see the batch come out, and it has maybe bots like dust up, don't make a judgment there and then. Don't think, oh... I'm not going that bad because Dust Up is awful. Do you really think we're going to release Dust Up as she is in a five star batch? Not in a chance. We're probably going to double the damage. And that'll be ridiculous. I mean, I don't even know what a maxed out Dust Up does. Someone in the chat might have a maxed out Dust Up or a high level. Someone might like her. I don't know who. But, you know, if that's the case, they're gonna... if it's an awful batch, if it's an awful bot in this new batch, it's going to be buffed to hell. I mean,. When we got with the last batch, um, looking at it, you know, Impactor wasn't great, Sea Spray wasn't that great, and Bumblebee was pretty awful as well. And we buffed the hell out of them. But the big one for me was this one. I mean, this one, Jetfire was decent, Blaze was awful, his Octopus was awful, Smoke Screen was awful, Rhinox was pretty awful. And everyone, I said, oh god, this batch is going to look awful. But once we finished with it, this is probably the best batch I've ever had. So, you know, don't don't just see the batch and think, nah, that's awful. Look at the batch. The more awful bots are in it, the more buffs we're going to get. That's the... Skylinks and Red Alert probably won't get a buff. They'll get a raise in stats of 20%. 20% more damage, 20% more health, 20% more DPS. But that's it. They're done. They're done and dusted. That's what you're going to get. No change to them. But, you know... With the likes of dust up there in there, 
maybe even Mirage will probably get a buff. I don't think Hound would get a buff. I think Hound at ability 11 with the as a 5 star would be absolutely immense. So, it's going to be interesting to see who's in that batch. It really is. Um, Grand Sans put, if you want to know what other bots are going to be in the new batch, go and watch my prediction video. <laughs> but yeah, you know, seriously though, guys, go and check out prediction videos. We've all done prediction videos um, on uh, what we think is going to be in the batch. Looking at mine now, I don't think it's going to happen, sadly. Um, I've got my own predictions, I think, going to change. But, um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens. But, yeah, the Crusher 11, five-star hound. I want a five-star hound as too. I really do. So, as we did last week, we're going to go through uh, Titan uh, Attack, Titan Assault. This time, we're going to try and beat Trypticon. We are. This time. Bricks motion is put four star mirage is hella fun with glitch. Yeah, that's what I that's probably what I'd do. Especially with G1 core. Absolutely amazing. Berserk's put the best shake up for the game is to make the economy more player friendly. So more low to mid players get decent and it changes the player meta. Um I'm not I'm gonna say it's a bit unpopular right now. I'm I i can not disagree with that. When it gets to the point where things are accessible, free to play, a lot more than pay to win, that's the time where the game will close down, sadly. You know, the, the economy is very carefully balanced. And we can see already that there's some shifts in value. That's the, you know, but it gets to the point where when they're giving away things for free, then. If they gave sp enough spark away for free, so that no one needs really needs spark, and they gave enough energon and alloy and combiner spark and everything else, nothing to chase, and people stop spending, that's when the game shuts down, sadly. Big smoke spot. I have his gold G1 core, but I use flat jacket. Oh no! Don't use flat jacket. No, 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 no. So, I we were talking again about this in the playtest chat. And the only universal core that I use is Wallbuster on Sludge. And that's it. The only core, the only power core I use is that. That is it. It's all Prime cores, G1 cores. Ray Booster? Ray Booster, to be fair. I use Ray Booster still. But that's it. The only, I tell you what, the only thing that's going to shake up this game is more features, more things, more, more, more. More, more, more. How do you like it? How do you like it? Because let's put, there's so many bots that a slight increase in access to new bots needed for new players to get that competitive level and stick with it. That's why you spend, sadly, though. To get their new bots. But for me, the big problem is that new bots aren't more powerful than old bots. That's the big one for me. Ah, I was hoping they'd avoid them. Hopefully I win five. I'll beat the first five, five bases without a doubt. It's kind of beat the second trip to come. That's a big question. Even spend doesn't mean you get bots, though. True. Well, depends on what you spend, to be fair. <laughs> but yeah, that is true. Listen, I'm not going to say that drop rates are how they should be. I'm not going to sit here and say that it's right. But it is what it is. That's the, that's sad how it is, but it is what it is. 
We sort of said similar to this in the uh, playtest chat when we, when we said about the prime core shards, you know, and I suggested it, and some of the chat said, that's not going to happen. But let's be honest, if that was the case, we'd probably want two. And I was like, yeah, but you just said it's not going to happen. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, you know, there's some things that we think is ideal and good value and would help players spend, but sadly, it doesn't mean it's going to happen, you know. Yeah, the Titan Trek tree, Trek tree doesn't improve walls. It's something different. It's something to keep going over. Uh, it needs... It's still needs a bit of improvement, I think, the Titan Trek tree. But to Star Sabers put, why don't they make it for new players at a certain HQ level? They get four star shards. Um, well, you do for events, really. You know, the idea is to get in a better alliance and, you know, progress. That's the idea of it. we got to level first, haven't you? But I think the idea behind it for me of making new bots better is that if you're a new player coming in, you shouldn't have to chase bots that have been with the game five years. You should be able to spend now on current bundles, uh, probably get the bot a bit easier, and then be able to compete with, with players that have you know, um, bought some years ago. And you might think, well, that's not fair because I had to work hard for them bots and why should a new player get advantage over me? Well, okay then. Let's make it so that the, you know, the Psyops players are exactly the same. So our five stars from years ago will always be better than yours when they bring these new bundles out. You know, you will never catch up. You will never catch us up. If that's the case, guys, you know, we want players to catch up, but we don't want players to catch up from slow down mechanics, making everything slower and harder to get. You know, we want players to catch up because they've you know, spent and worked hard, you know. Oh, some good pathing here. Some good pathing. I like this pathing. Edge XL has put, I missed talk on Magna Boss. Is it worth getting? Uh, depends if they change him and how much they're going to change him. Yeah. Berserk's put, guarantee bundles for all bots. There was no guarantee. There were no guarantees in this game. Let's take away guarantees. Forget guarantees. The word guarantee, you can't even put anything, really. And that's not... I don't agree with that. I don't... I think there should be some guarantee. But I'm saying that's Space Apes philosophy, really. Set this down easier. Come on. Just gone down. Yes, Abby Blades. Trip to gun down. Bricks Motion, that's a good point. He leveled three star blur. So it's a bit alright, it's good, but not gold fire good. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. He's good, but he ain't gold fire. Grand Times going out to see a new Ghostbusters movie. Let me know what it's like.
think we've got a poor match up here. We've got a HQ-17, so I think we're going to lose this one. Oh, we got to win. Oh, I think we might lose this still. Oh, that was close. Ooh, that was close. Uh, what level is my Metro? Um, seven? I think it's level 15. <laughs> Joking. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Private joke. <laughs> Private slaps joke. I shouldn't laugh about it, but it was just a massive, like, what the... But, yeah. Just to prove I'm not, like, level 17. <laughs> Before I get called a hacker. Yeah, level seven. Level seven. So, yeah. Uh, Randall Hamilton, yes, you did miss the new combiners. Just rewind it and then sort of watch the scene throughout and you can catch up, really. William Edward Hackman has said, I hope SpaceX can let people use Fortress Maximus and Scorponok in Earth Wars in some time in the future. I am going to go out on a limb and say, you will see Fortress Maximus and Scorponok as playable characters in Earth Wars. And that's not me with any inside information or anything like that. I can just see that happening. I really can. Yes, he's walking around the wall. That's good. He's walking through the wall. Not good. Oh, don't walk towards that. No, don't, 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 don't. I need to walk upwards. I needed to walk upwards. I needed to walk upwards. Oh, where's he going? What are you doing? What are you doing, you madman? What are you shooting that wall for? One sec. That's like knockout. Uh, it's in time. No, he's popped out of the outpost, the idiot. I hate Metro Plexus pathing. Hate it. You see my video on pathing, I can normally path these things pretty well, but you can't path Metroplex. Absolute pest. Our defense is down, I think. I can't even see what I'm missing now. Hey! <laughs> Make sure you start Metroplex. I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. Idiot. <laughs> Not you, I mean. <laughs> I'm mean, obviously him. <laughs> I'll try and no one tells Metroplex what to do. You watch. You watch. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's an easy one for a change. I, I say that. I better not lose that one. There's your trade off. Power for pathing. Abby Blessed, because Metro is the boss. It's not the boss. 
because he's and the boss. Because all I could do is just cancel Titan Assault, and not do it, and then he just rots. So and the boss. All right. <laughs> Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Ugh. Yeah, Super Scott. It would be nice to be able to rotate the base, but I, again, I can't see that happening, sadly. <laughs> Big two stars, paper well. No, you are correct. I am an idiot. I've got no stone, no stone level 60. Yeah, but when the nose cone buff comes, and I think it... Oh, I don't know now, actually. I've been saying it for that long. I'm starting to not believe myself. But, you know, when it does come, if and when... You'll be the first uh, in line to have an amazing bot, hopefully. So, uh, you never know. Go on, stamp on them. There we go. There we go, base down. One more, then Triptychon. Come on, Metroplex. Here we go. Let's just take it straight on. Let's not mess about. Let's not mess about. In almost three years. That's no, it's not no scoring. I've been out three years. No, no, 18 months. I think go on. Do you stamp? Stamp on it. There we go. Oh, thank God there's no point in defense beam on that. Woo! Just about. Okay. Here we go. So, I'm going to give you guys to the end of the battle to answer the following question for a Sunstreaker was a stash crystal. I want you to tell me which four bots I have at my outposts. First five people to answer get a Sunstreaker Water Stash Crystal. Which four bots do I have in my outposts? Answers on a postcard.
it's looking quite tight. I think I'm losing here slightly, I think. Oh, it's fairly even now. Uppercut it in. Let me do it again. Oh, it's getting pretty close, this. Oh, could we do it? Oh, it's getting... It's pretty close. It's pretty close, this. It's getting close. It's getting close. Come on. Come on, Metroplex. You could do it. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Come on, we could do this. We could do this. We could do this. So close. Uh, Berserk, no, it's not. Metroplex, uh, Metroplex and um, Triticon can both stun. I'm not going to fast forward. I'm going to keep it going nice and slow. Try and get more abilities in there possible. Come on, do it then. I'm losing this one already. Oh, I wasn't close that time. <sighs> so hard. Okay. Final try.
going to lose someone, aren't I? I'm going to lose it again. Oh, I needed that one extra shot. Oh. I need one more level. If I get my Metroplex level 8, that's done deal, isn't it? That's a done deal. It really is. It's 30 odd. Okay, will I have enough next week? Maybe. Oh, I think I got. Did I get 40? I think I got 35k. I think I got. So maybe not. Maybe two weeks. But let's have a look who we've got. First five to answer correctly win a Sunstreaker was a Stash Crystal. Sadly, Matt Polder, you are wrong. Chromia is not in my outpost. She was, and I took her out. Um, The Crusher 11, Blades, Rhinox, Smoky, Blaster. Well done. Blaster, Rhinox, Small Screen and Blades. Brian Miller, congratulations. Blaster, Rhinox, Small Screen and Blades. Thundercracker, uh, Victory Star Saber. Yeah, I'll give you that, Rhinox. You can't spell Rhinox, but I'll give you that. And <laughs> Avenger, Op 15. You can't spell Rhinox either, but I will give you that. So we have uh, the Crusher 11, Brian Miller, Thundercracker, Victory Star Saber. An Avenger Opt 15. Congratulations to you, five. And obviously to uh, RB Blades as well. Uh, if you all contact me on uh, Discord saying that you've a Sunstreaker was a Sash Crystal, and I will get back to you tomorrow and I will hand the codes out. Uh, but in the meantime, that's going to be me signing out. Next week, when I got, I've got another go at Trypticon, we are going to beat him next week. We are. Um, but yeah, next week, hopefully we can talk a bit more about the new things coming to the game. Um, uh, hopefully, um, you know, hopefully we can, um, talk a bit about new features and stuff. Might have the five star batch to announce. Who knows? But yes, the only way you're going to know guys is by hitting that subscribe button, hitting a like on the video, hitting the bell and keep tuning in every Wednesday, guys. I do streams every Sunday as well, here and there, depending, uh, we try to do a few other games, but Hopefully, uh, with these new features, we can do some more streams at weekends as well and do some new features. So, yeah, thanks for everyone tuning in, guys. I really appreciate everyone tuning in. It's been a really good stream today. Uh, I'll be an Engineer Hoy stream uh, soon. I'll see you all there. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. And peace out, guys.